Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder. So today I have yet another replay mission for you, played for our pleasure today by FFGOP in the STRV-122, the Swedish top dog at the moment, basically an improved version of the Leopard 2A5, which was previously deemed to be the best tank in War Thunder. However, in my personal opinion, um, facts like turret ring and gun breach ruin top tier meta in my opinion but if you disagree you can enjoy this rather energizing replay now ffg also is featured f by me because i want to promote twitch streamers that might not be that famous and he actually has a twitch channel to which you will find the link in the video description down below with the funny name esports ready war thunder yeah um let that sink in for a moment anyways he is now trying to go towards A, the left-hand side of the map, whereas the majority of the rest of his team, including his two teammates, including Copsy, another Twitch streamer that I recently featured, uh, work together in the middle of the map. So, uh, he has one team member with him that went into this, this gap in the ridge line and is now sniping into the sides of some enemy main battle tanks. So... FFG is now entering the cap and also has an undecisive uh, meeting with an M1A2. Both uh, hit each other but don't do damage. However, the M1A2 was then quickly sniped from the side, much like this very unfortunate Abrams with a one-shot. So far, so good. He's about to take the cap and this without the help of smoke, although he has it available. And then he quickly caps it or finishes the cap and then he goes into this gap here himself and he wants to help out the remaining team members of his in the middle of the map although at this very moment uh, both other team members or squad members have also succumbed to the enemies i think they were a bit overextending but it's just what they do it's this uh, over excessive aggression which I think, when it works, it is really cool to watch, but when it doesn't work, which is in my experience the overwhelming majority of times, then you die and then you have to respawn and do it all over again. Now he joins the fight in the middle of the map, quickly takes the gun barrel off the Merkava and then decides to push. So some other team members are getting the cap. And before he can really uh, enjoy too much of the capping, the cap is finished. He pushes on. He takes not the gun breach, the gun barrel, or the turret ring of the M1A1, I think, and pushes him anyway, and then finishes him off with a turret ring shot. Beautiful. There is an M1A2 and also an XM1. He finishes off the XM1 by shooting the ammo rack. The M1A2 is distracted, he uses it and finishes him off. Three quick kills. Four kills, two caps, one kill assist. What do you want more? And on top of this, the cherry is an Abrams graveyard. Beautiful. Anyways, we have here the advantage of seeing the markers, but he doesn't. And so he is pushing into unknown territory. He hears tanks to the left and to the right. He plays with the thought of pushing into them, but then again sees uh, in just a moment that there, the Marvel cover is pushing through the smoke and into his AP FSTS that blows up the ammo. Beautiful, already an ace. Yeah, that is controlled aggression. Now, there is also this M1A1, and he is now between a rock and a hard place, and now they try a pincer maneuver on him. So is he communicating with the green guy, as you can see, and uh, yeah, there he finishes him off when he was distracted. And now, this is the grande finale. This is really, I think, the game deciding move, because both him and his team member, I don't know which one it was, maybe Cupsy, maybe the other guy, I don't remember, uh, they are pushing on and they don't push into the spawn, but they are actually looking at the minimap, the left flank is completely fallen and the enemy team is contesting the A capture point. And so now they can push into them. Again, we have the advantage in the replay to see the markers, they obviously didn't, so he wanted to look into this... Uh, 
into this cave and also into the cab and then he decides to go a little bit to the right and then he we see already the m1a2 but he was obviously focusing here on the m1a2 and he reacts a bit faster and actually takes here the gunner and both tracks on the m1a2 and then he is prioritizing the other guy that was completely distracted pointing his gun barrel at him but couldn't finish him off and then he finishes the guy that he previously has disabled he sees the m1a1 in the cap and then using thermal imaging there he sees him and that's another quick triple kill we are already at nine kills and that is just a really quick and brutal gameplay much like i like it and this after only like five and a half minutes of gameplay so this is just showing what you can do with those modern main battle tanks with their speed with their uh, really good gun handling on those let's face it rather small maps so he doesn't go into the cap and uh, well the other guy is already uh, contesting the enemy spawn putting pressure this way on the enemy team as Copsy has stated one time he is that kind of player that you don't want to face as a new player much like this m1 a1 uh, which is now his double a's for fgg ffg sorry so while he is immobilized he is not disabled and so he is finally happily repairing again you can find the link in the video description down below since we have now a moment in silence to talk about modern main battle tanks i think that such tanks they have one big drawback and that is the stock grind however a lot of people don't really mind the stock grind at top tier and throw gold eagles at gaijin anyway and this is why we see so much overheated content you know where we don't have the necessary decompression and a lot of tanks are deemed to be dead content you know even if they were introduced with this or a previous patch it doesn't really matter they are dead content because they are not competitive they are thrown into a meta that they were never designed to be used in etc etc this is a game at the end of the day and so tanks like these the top dogs are really what you can perform best in but if you find it hard to perform in them like i do then it's mostly due to not really feeling the pulse of the match not feeling uh, the situation evolving and this is where you can learn so much from replays this is where you can learn new positions where you can learn how valuable teamwork is as they did the pincer maneuver with the m1a1 and uh, also it shows just to which great results it leads i get a lot of replay submissions where somebody gets 10 15 even 20 up to 26 kills with a single tank but it's low tier so you're fighting complete noobs in one match where you're a top dog and just one of the best tanks for example in a german jumbo in a full down tier you know you can rack up the kills five second reload apcr and uh, apcbc rounds 50 cal first plane stabilizer really good armor and if there is no killer tank on the enemy team or you're just prioritizing them and just farming them the rest you get so many good results and i think that in this case we can see that he was not really shot that often he had a bit of luck but the rest was prioritizing decision making and then this one flanking move that resulted him in yet another quick triple kill so teamwork at the right time at the right moment that is really what makes good results and uh, that is already the game let's have a quick look at the post battle results sadly that is the only result screenshot that i got but anyways it shows three caps one assist and a double s in the strv one to two without dying which i value a lot so thank you very much ffg for sending it in but we also can see that there was thundy and coppen with him and that they have overall together 18 kills for four deaths so this is very impressive this is very nice and you could see the impact that they had on the outcome of the game and so this was a very well well coordinated gameplay and just because you are in a squad doesn't necessarily mean 
that you always are sticking together. In certain situations it helps, sometimes it helps out to flank an enemy from both sides. And that's it for me today. So again, thank you very much for sending this one in, FFG. And you can find the link to his uh, Twitch channel in the video description down below. Uh, so with the funny name and uh, yeah thanks for watching thanks for listening please give this video a like if it did subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see each other on the waves in the skies and on the battlefields of war thunder